had a lineup. It took like 30 minutes to get an interview with you while my phone was down. But everybody in the world wants to say thanks and everything for this show that's been going on. A Nebraska, you know, staple for super late mile racing for so long. Uh, talk about what it's meant to have, to host, to think of this race and put it on, have the success it has over the years. And then, unfortunately or fortunately, however you want to look at it, it coming to an end. It's coming to an end, but it's not coming to an end. It's coming to an end more than likely at I-80 Speedway. But I've got a lot of people that I'm trying to make sure it stays 53,000 to win. I've got people asking and wanting, to, wanting to, me to take the show to there. I'm going to try to move that much of it. I'm not going to stay involved in it. I want to make sure the promoter that I've got is going to sign a contract that stays 53000 to win. I don't want the racers to be losing out. Right. And you know what? It's uh, it's very important to us that uh, the legacy of our racing has been so long for me and Steve, my dad, my brother Ed. He helped start this race. You know what I mean? So it's, it's a neat thing, the whole thing through. We've got great sponsors that helped us keep it going. We've got great fans that have brought it to another era. Obviously, you get good racers to come here. That's a big deal. Keeping the racers a, a, a very important thing, getting paid well in today's era seems to be a really important thing as well. So the 53,000 deal being a, a huge deal and, and obviously the legacy. What are some potential track areas? I know, I know, I've seen the Houston Speedway part, truck around here. Todd Quering's one of the best owners in the country. I don't know. Them guys, them guys, they've talked to me. I, I, I won't go no farther than that on it until I know exactly what's going on. It's, it's not, it's not a speedway that's going to make it go. Right. It's what we decide that we want that we want to take it to that can handle what we want out of it. Well, and a lot of drivers and people I've had on that opinion of it being potentially Houston, it's, it, that style of track doesn't suit this style that's wide and racy. It's, it seems like it's killing a lot of people's thoughts of that even being a possibility, you know? I, you know, it's a possibility. Todd and me have talked. I've talked to him. And he's a very big fan of motorsports. He's Absolutely. probably one of the most biggest supporters of motorsports there is right but, now. But it's... Not necessarily going to go there. I've got, like I say, four or five places that have talked to me real heavily on it. I don't want it to go clear to Davenport, Iowa right. because of the distance. Right. I want the fans to be able to be within a couple, two or three hours of here is what we're trying Keep to do. Keep it a up. Midwest deal? Keep it a Midwest deal, yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Up and down the Missouri River as close as we can keep it. Um, I mean, and there's a lot of good promoters in between here and there. Everybody's not ready for a race of this caliber. Right. I mean, this, this race takes a whole lot. You have to have everything from the camping and the campgrounds and the, everything it takes just to make everybody love it. Well, and the racetrack as well. That's a big and, important part. And the part. racetrack as well. It's, it's got to be a racy surface. It's got to be good. My brother puts his heart and soul into keeping the race surface good. You know, sometimes I get a lot more credit than he does, and it's really, it takes... I mean, my daughter does so much work to keep it going. I mean, there's there's so many behind it that people don't really always understand. Yes, I make the decisions and I make the, the if it's going to be this big or how it's going to be and how we have to work it, I take care of that. But how much potential is it in possibilities, that is, of keeping it here? Would it take somebody coming in and... and really investing to keep this thing That's going? That's the only way it'll stay here is if somebody invests and, and keeps it here. Me and Steve are both ready to not necessarily retire. We've got a lot of other business stuff going on. We've got a salvage yard in Omaha that has 44 employees. We've got a salvage yard in Sioux City that's got 13 or 14 employees. We've got a lot of rental properties. We can't keep up no more. Our age has just got to us. And it's time for us to start splitting some stuff up and start moving some things. And that's what made our decision. We just decided that this... Do I want this one to go? Well, if somebody walked in and said, I want to buy your salvage yards and that, well, maybe we would have kept this one. But this one is a lockdown commitment. That one we can have employees work it. We can leave in the summertime. This one here, you have to be here every week of the summer. Uh, it's hard to hire people just to do everything for it. And that's why this one's the one that we said, hey, it's time. But this is how we ride. This is how we do. Riding mud, sliding up.